think I just pulled a hammy. That hurt a little bit. Ow. Oh, I'm so happy to be back in Hollywood. I actually drove from Indiana to Los Angeles for AGT because I'm dumb. I am dumb. That is a terrible trip. Like, I live in the Midwest, I love living there, but I think we all can agree the middle of the country is not exactly aesthetically pleasing if you're driving through it. Like, if you've never made the trip, it's basically Los Angeles, <laughs> New York. Like, that's what you're dealing with. When I was driving through Utah, my best friend was trying to cheer me up about it. She was like, oh, Utah's beautiful. Yeah, for about 10 minutes. That state takes nine hours to get across. You start to go insane, it becomes like an old Looney Tunes cartoon where the background just keeps repeating itself over and over again. You're like, I've seen that cactus before and it's flipping me off. What's its problem? I crashed my car into the side of a mountain that a coyote had painted a tunnel on. It was a really rough trip. And because I'm a real cool guy, I got a one-armed sunburn on the way, ladies. That's for you, huh? See, because when you're a ginger, you have to tan in sections or you catch on fire. <laughs> Got a little on my knee. Oh my God. And I actually lived in Florida for a while near the beach, and that was a horrible idea because I would go outside and I'd catch on fire immediately. And then we're surrounded by water, but I couldn't jump in to put myself out because I don't know how to swim. So now I'm just running up and down the beach looking for a stranger to pee on me, and that's a weird way to make friends. <laughs> And before anyone asks, no, that was not an invitation for you to teach me how to swim, all right? I'm a grown man, I don't need that skill, I'm fine. My friends get so mad at me that I refuse to learn to, like, learn to swim because they like to swim and people can't just let other people not like what they like. That's not how they're wired. So they wanna like trick me into taking swimming lessons by coming up with these nightmare scenarios where swimming would be necessary. They'll be like, okay, Ryan, you don't want to learn to swim? Fine, fine, fine. But what happens if you're out fishing and you fall overboard and there's no one around? Oh, what are you going to do then, Ryan? <laughs> I'm going to drown. <laughs> I've come to terms with that. I will die in the water. And why the hell was I out fishing anyway? Did I lose a bet? You can buy fish. I don't need to learn to swim is what I'm saying. Like, I'm fine, I don't need to skill. I just avoid the water and I win. There's a reason I live in Indiana. There's no water anywhere, I beat it. You don't gotta face your fears every day of your life. I'm also scared of snakes. I don't gotta punch a snake every morning, do I? No, I just stay away from snakes. Well, Ryan, what happens if you're on your jet ski? I'm not gonna be on a fucking jet ski! Ever! That's not a fun activity for me. And besides, the jet ski rental place hates when you crap in terror on their jet skis. That's how you lose your deposit. All right, I'm Ryan Nemo, you guys. Thank you all so, so much. Ryan, in the, in the package before, you said you want to just be taken for who you are. And I'll tell you who you are. You're a very funny, talented comedian who deserves to be in the finals. America, vote for Ryan. Gabrielle. From the first time you hit the stage till tonight, you have been killing it. I cannot wait for your comedy special. Like you, you, you deserve to be here. You deserve to be in the finals. America, please vote. Queen Latifah. Oh my God, I'm still laughing. <laughs> you know, I'm you, in hip hop, when you battle, one of the best things you can do is be self-deprecating. Say everything about yourself and you take it all out of the, the power out of the hands of the other people. Yeah. You have not only done that, but you have mastered it and made it hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm waiting for the movie. Yeah. Simon. Well, thanks for the reminder of my gaffe a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, check, Ryan, the person you are, because I went up and I said, I'm so sorry afterwards, and you were laughing, and it says everything about you. How I feel about you on this, on this show is that I don't feel like this is an audition any longer. I feel that you're taking us along on your ride to the final and watching you just get funnier and more confident and so happy. And